This is a tutorial on how to update your DMC MIDI controller from Disaster Area Amps. It's a fairly simple process, but you will need a couple of things to get started. First, you need your MIDI controller. This is my DMC3. Uh, connect that with the supplied USB cable to your computer, and you should be ready to go. Today, we're going to be using my iMac. As I said, it's a fairly simple process, but there are actually two different ways you can update your pedal, and I'll show you how to, how to do that in this video. Uh, the first way is to go to the uh, Disaster Area Amps website at DisasterAreaAmps.com, and under the Files section of that site, you can download this DMC firmware uploader. It's a piece of custom software that Matt has developed for both Windows and Mac. I downloaded it for Mac, and it took uh, about three seconds. So I'll show you how to use that here in a second. But while you're on this page, you'll want to download um, which firmware that you're looking for um, that's for your unit. So the DMC2, 3, 4, 6, whatever. Um, so download that. I'm going to be installing a beta that Matt and I are working on now that will add some really cool new features to the DMC3 and should be available here shortly for public download. Um, so that's that. The other way to update your pedal is to use the software developed um, by the, the people who make the technology that's actually inside of the DMC, and that's a company called Arduino. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but their website is arduino.cc, and on the download section of their page, you can get the software uh, for Windows, Mac, or Linux. So um, once you have those, those pieces of software, um, you can move into the next stage, which is actually updating your pedal. Um, so first things first, we'll just use the disaster uploader. So I'll open this here, and uh, then open up the... Um, the software and you may get a warning here asking if you want to download it uh, at least I did the first time I opened it uh, and of course I did so this is version 1.1 and now it's going to ask you which serial port you uh, your DMC is connected to I happen to know that it's this one so I'll open that up and then it's going to ask you to find your software so wherever you downloaded the uh, the firmware to you want to go find that uh, this is the hex file that we're going to use um, for this update um, the Disaster Uploader is very specific about needing the, the binary firmware there. So, so I'll, I'll choose that, and then it will say that it's ready to program. So I'll click OK, and then the DMC will shut off while all the magic is happening internally. And then once the software has been, sorry, the firmware has been updated, it will uh, flash and reboot, and you're all ready to go. So that's as easy as it is with the, the Disaster Uploader. Um, the Arduino software is a little bit more picky, especially in where the, uh, the update file is located. Um, but regardless, I figured I'd show you, I'd show you that. Um, this software allows you to actually go in and edit uh, some of the parameters um, for the, the DMC itself. Um, I really suggest, though, that you, that you know what you're doing before you do that. Um, so regardless, I've opened up um, this piece of, of software here, and I've, I've opened the specific update. What you want to do first is compile it by clicking this check mark up here, and it will basically just make sure everything is correct. It's, I think it's sort of checking to make sure there aren't any errors. Uh, and then all you have to do is click upload, and it will go through the, the steps there. And again, the DMC will shut off and reboot here in a second, and your update is complete. So that's as easy as it is with that one. Um, Maybe it looked a little simpler than it actually is, but regardless, uh, updating your DMC is, is very easy. So I uh, hope this video helped, and thanks for watching.